Hello fellow ghost hunters out there. I've had a couple of emails come in in regards to uploading audio into your computer utilizing any type of audio software. We're going to go over this. It's going to be a step-by-step -step type um, training session. First you're going to need three items. You're going to need a PC, personal computer, or a laptop. The second thing you're going to need is an audio recording device whether it be digital or analog. The third thing you're going to need is a patch cable. A patch cable is basically a cable with two male receptacles. And the most important thing you're going to need is the audio processing software. As you can see on the desktop here I'm utilizing the Adobe Edition 1.5. Okay, quick, dirty, simple, easy two holes in top of your audio recorder. One would be for the microphone, one would be for the headphone. One jack goes in the headphone jack receptacle. The second one, which is coming from the headphone jack, will go into your mic jack in your PC. I'm running a laptop right now, so when my audio comes on, you're going to see a, if this screen pops up what I recommend you do is hit your line in press OK then you come to your software press record it's gonna ask a bunch of little tabs the first thing is gonna be sample rate I recommend 44,100 samples per second you can go higher however your file is gonna be a lot larger you can go all the way up I recommend if you're going to go up, go to 96,000 samples per second. It's going to be a lot clearer, a lot crisper, but the file is going to be ginormous. Now you have a selection of channels, mono or stereo. Depending on this, this type of device, which is a Sony ICD B300, you need to re record or transpose in mono. Mono only because this is not a stereo jack and I'm going to press OK. My final step is to press play. As you can see the audio is starting to be transposed up. Now if you look down in here this little decibel rating you don't want to get up too high. So what I can actually do is I can jump, I can bump up the volume just a tad and I can actually watch it that's actually as loud as my audio recorder will go going in here so as you can see it is actually playing from this recorder going through the patch cable into the microphone jack of the PC there's a sound card installed inside of your PC which is what it's doing is it's processing the sound live. Now if you record six hours worth of audio, guess what? You have got to sit this down, make sure your batteries are fresh, number one, and you've got to let it play for six hours. It is tedious, but trust me, the quality that you will get from the electronic voice phenomenon from this audio recorder, this is a cheap audio recorder, 20 bucks at Walmart. Ten bucks for this cable. Thirteen hundred for my computer. Five hundred for the software that I utilize. But it is well worth it. The the processing of the audio this way versus USB you will understand whenever you get your first one and you process it in these steps you will be able to say wow I can, I can tell the difference. And that's our training session on uploading your audio from your recorder through the patch cord into your cable. I'm Tommy Golden, President and Founder of Middle Tennessee Ghost Chasers, and I hope that this was an informative training session.